it's Amberly. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So, um, I wanted to make a very, very, very important announcement now that everything has settled and come into place. I'm back in Arizona, which means I got my kid back, y'all. Hey, hey. I got my kid back. Was it good? So for those of you that said I couldn't do it, fuck y'all. Y'all can suck my magnum dong. Okay. Because I got him back, yo. Hey. Guess who's back? Back again. Amber's back. Tell a friend. So, um, <laughs> for those of y'all that said I couldn't do it, y'all were probably right. But I did it anyway. So. Also, we do have a confession on who hacked my account. And I'm not going to say it. But. Who is texting me? Ah, uh, hold on. So, yeah, I got my kid back and we figured out who hacked my profile. And, uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> y'all remember the, um, my piece of shit, baby daddy? Yeah, well, it was his ex-wife, so, and, and I know what you haters are probably gonna say. Um, it's really nice placing the blame on somebody just because you want to save your ass. Um, yeah, maybe, but you don't have any proof. <laughs> okay, it wasn't me. I would never exploit my child like that, okay? But we're just gonna drop it, and we're just gonna start over, and I'm gonna take my life back, okay? So y'all can say whatever you want, but at the end of the day, I'm almost 22. I know my truth. I know who I am as a person. And most importantly, my son loves me. He knows who I am. And one day, he's gonna grow up and he's gonna hear all these fucked up stories that people have created in their heads and painted me to be the villain. And he's gonna hear shit that isn't true and he's gonna know who I am as a person. The point is, I'm happy. <laughs> and my son is happy and I have never been this happy in I have never been this happy in years, bro. I haven't been this happy since one certain individual decided that I shouldn't be happy. And I believed him. So much so that I made it impossible for myself to be happy. But I woke up one day and I said, you know what, I'm tired of this. And now look where I am. Back in Arizona, telling my haters to suck my dick, <laughs> and I got my kid back. And uh, everything is going great. So for those of you that were wondering, that's how my life is going. Um, I did have an apartment, and I lived on my own in Texas for like a month before I realized that I was paying rent in like $200 increments, and there was no way I was gonna be able to pay enough to the point where I was all good for that month because my rent was due on the 1st and it would be late on the 5th. Nobody can get $600 like that. And then the next month somehow come up with $838 after paying $200 increments. It got to the point where like, I didn't have any money for groceries. The only way I ate was if somebody gave me was if somebody let me use their food stamps. And by let me, I didn't mean, I was like, can I please use your food stamps? Can I please use your food stamps? Because that's not who I am. I merely mentioned that I was having a hard time because somebody asked me how I was doing. And I was like, honestly, you know, it's my first time being on my own. I'm kind of struggling like a lot. And this neighbor who lived across from me, she took it out of the kindness of her heart to take me shopping. And she used her food stamps on me. And I didn't get a whole lot of stuff because I was already pretty embarrassed that she was doing this for me. So I didn't get a whole lot of food. 
So, and that was, that was my prerogative, you know. So, I used my groceries very, very, very sparingly because I knew that my $200 was all going to be used on a money order for rent. And by the time the, the month was almost over, I only had $400 put down and I got paid bi-weekly. I had just gotten paid, so I wasn't going to get paid until next week. And guess what the next week was, everybody? Ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. Guess what? The next payment, the next time I got paid, would have been November 5th. And guess what day late fees were? The 5th of every month. So I would be paying 200 for the last month and still be late for the $838 plus an extra $50 for being late on that one. Ha! Ha ha ha! 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 The whole universe is laughing at me now. <laughs> I'm not laughing, bro. <laughs> I'm over here thinking, man, if Jesus is playing a trick, it's a, it's a very cruel prank because I'm, I'm not laughing. I don't think this is funny. Like, I was having mental breakdowns, like, every night. I'm like, bro, I just, I got this place, I got this two-bedroom apartment so that I can get my child back, and, but how am I even going to pay, pay for him? How am I going to feed him if I can't even feed myself? So I called my grandparents in tears one day, and I was like, please let me come home. I, I will do anything. I will literally scrub the floors of my hands and knees with a toothbrush if y'all will let me come home and let me take my son back and let me be mom again so that next time I try to do it on my own, I can be more prepared and I can do this efficiently. And they were like, okay, yeah. And then my dad was like, you know what? We have better job opportunities over here where we are, so why don't you just stay here? And I was like, bet, yes, absolutely, bet. So now I'm here and I've been doing this for <laughs> literally almost a month now. And I honestly, I would much rather be doing it here than on my own because at least here I have mountains of support that I never appreciated before. And I have plenty of opportunity that I always took for granted until this point. You know what, I honestly hate certain foods, will not touch it, but I have lived through being hungry so now everything feels like a five-star feast to me. Like, I, I have a new appreciation for things, is what I'm saying. And now I can teach my son to have a new appreciation for things. Um, so if y'all haters want to continue hating, go, go right the fuck ahead. I, I don't care. I'm happy. I love my life now. I have a new appreciation for my life and how it was. And my, the love for my son has never faltered while I was away from him. In fact, I missed him more and more and more and more each day, like I knew I would. I love him just the same way I did the minute he was born. The minute I saw those two lines on the pregnancy stick, my love continues to grow for him every single day. But now I feel like our love has been even stronger because it feels like no time has passed. It feels like I never left. It feels like he never left me. Because for some of y'all who haven't been following my story, who've been like, so what is she saying? That she abandoned her child? No, nah, bitch. What happened was I went to try and do this on my own with Riley. So I moved to a different state with my child and shit ended up hitting the fan. I was living with a roommate and she decided to kick me out because she took my baby daddy's side, even though he was, him and his ex-wife were doing all kinds of horrible shit to me and my child. But of course, we've been besties since kindergarten, so I'm always gonna take his side. So that's what she did. So she kicked me and Riley out, knowing full damn well that we had nowhere else to go, but she didn't care. So she, gave us the boot, so I knew that I would have nowhere else to go. But my parents have always told me, Riley will always be welcome. We will always help you with Riley. So I didn't know anyone else to call other than my parents. And I told them, hey, 
I'm gonna be homeless. I don't want my child to experience this. I'm gonna be hungry and, and shit, and I don't want him to be hungry. I don't want him to know about any of this. I don't want him to wonder where his next meal is gonna come from. I don't wanna have to worry about any of that. I don't want him to have to worry about any of that. So take him, please. Y'all don't want me living with y'all, that's fine, but take him, please. So they did. They came and they got him and they took him to Arizona and they told me that when I get my shit together, they'll give him back. But then of course, somebody decided to make my life even harder and hack me and get all these inappropriate pictures out there and like doctor up some pictures, added Riley into the into these pictures. And for some of y'all be like, well, why were there even inappropriate pictures on there? I was poor, okay? I was poor. I would do anything. At that point, I was taking pictures of myself and myself only. Riley was not anywhere near me when I was taking those pictures for money. And, for the, and, for, and before any of y'all judge me, before any of y'all judge me, how many of y'all are on OnlyFans? How many of y'all have an OnlyFans? How many of y'all watch porn? How many of y'all watch OnlyFans? How many of y'all watch Patreon? Don't hate on me for that shit just because you hate me. That pisses me off. Some of y'all are the biggest hypocrites out there. Some of y'all do the same shit, but since y'all hate me, oh my god, she's a terrible person. Oh my god, she's a terrible person because she's literally doing the same thing I'm doing. Stop that shit. So, like I said, Riley was nowhere near me when any of that was happening. I did that shit when Riley was asleep. And I did that shit in the bathroom with the door closed and locked. And he couldn't walk at this time. And the story and the picture on my story with me in the bed and Riley next to me and I, and I have no clothes, that is a doctored picture. I have the original picture on my TikTok of me and Riley in, of me and Riley. So that picture was edited and I can prove it, but I'm not going to because I'm trying to just move on, you know? So... I'm just gonna let bygones be bygones, you know, just fuck off. <laughs> so, Okay, so, yeah, so that happened and somebody decided to doctor up those pictures and ruin my life and make it look as real as possible and then went so far as to say that I would let someone do whatever they wanted to Riley for money, basically buy my child, which pisses me off more than anything in this world because I don't care how broke I am. He is off limits. I don't care how hungry I am. I will never resort to that. And the fact that there are some people that actually believe that I will do that, what the hell is wrong with you? Genuinely, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know what? I may put him in my videos, yes. But haven't you noticed that every video he is in, he's fully clothed? Or maybe a diaper because he is a baby. But here recently, he has been dressed. He actually hasn't been in any of my videos here recently. But the most recent ones that he was in, he was dressed. You know why? Because he's a fucking baby. So why put him in your videos anyway? Maybe because y'all have been a part of my life since I was 16 and he is now a part of my life. And he likes seeing himself in the phone. 
He likes seeing his reflection. He loves spending time with me. There are so many family YouTubers out there. There are so many YouTubers who show their kids every once in a while. Well, I happen to be one of those YouTubers, but since y'all hate me, y'all try to make y'all try to make a mountain out of a molehill. You will literally make anything out of nothing. But you know what? That's the internet, so. So it's okay. But this is part of the reason why I went on a hiatus, and then I have some fans asking me why I've been gone. This is exactly why I've been gone. Because on top of everything I was dealing with, I still had all these people spreading bullshit that wasn't true and making me lose a lot of respect from a lot of people based off of lies and allegations. So if you hate me, there's a magical button where you subscribed like a couple months ago, but it's like popular to hate me now. So you're kind of like going with the clout and all that. There's a magical button called unsubscribe. And then you won't see me on your recommended page anymore. I mean, I suppose that it's more fun to, to watch just to, just to hate because you're bored. Like, of course, yeah, like, what was I thinking? You know, um, obviously. So, if you want to do that, I'm not even going to respond. I'm not going to make any more of these videos. I'm just going to turn a new leaf and just enjoy my life. <laughs> so, I will still be making videos. Don't get it twisted. I will still be making videos. I'm not leaving. Hey, guess what? I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving, so um, I'm just gonna like ignore comments like that now. All of the memes and the videos, I'll watch them. I might even laugh with you and say that they're hilarious, but then I'll report you. Honestly, I'm just trying to live my life and you should too, so. I'm usually okay with like haters and I'm usually okay with hate comments but what I'm not okay with is people making rumors that I would do something to my son that's something that I would not okay that I would not be okay with because comments like that can make me lose him and I swear to god losing him will literally be the death of me literally there will be a headline that I ended my life because he is the only purpose that I have right now he is everything to me. He is my flesh and blood. He is the reason why I wake up every day with a smile on my face. He is the reason why I work my ass off to do what I need to do. He saved my life. Single-handedly saved my life. When the days that I wanted to die, all I had to do was look in his face. And I see the love he has for me and it makes everything better. Basically, bottom line is I'm doing better now. Um, I'm happier. <laughs> I'm so much happier. And I got my kid back and I'm trying to work my ass off to do this all on my own <laughs> the right way. And uh, things couldn't be better for me. So in the end, I win. <laughs> um, so... I hope y'all have a good day, and there are going to be more videos to come. I'm still going to do the whole 2022 recap on New Year's Eve, like I always do, and I'm going to be doing a birthday haul, because my birthday is on Wednesday, so coming up in two days, I'm going to be the big 22. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22, but not really because I am. I am a young mom, and that means... Can't do what I want to, but totally fine. <laughs> I am totally okay with picking up Cheerios at 5 a.m. in the morning on my birthday. I'm totally okay with that because I do that every day. <laughs> but anyways, I hope y'all have a great day. Um, and I will see y'all in the next one. I hope y'all have a great day.